Buon dia di Porto. So, hello from the city of Porto, where I'm staying for a couple of days, and it's the second time here in Porto, and so I decided I wanted to do a video for you guys, just to show you how a day in Porto can be. We're going to the market and get a set of food, and as well I will show you around Porto and the uh, river of Douro. So, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Uh, my name is Michael, this channel is called Bavarian Globe Trader here on YouTube, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and let's grow this one together into a bigger community. But right now, let's head out into the city of Porto. Take along! The city of Porto is located right at the river Douro and about 3 kilometers away from the Atlantic Ocean. With its population of only 238,000 inhabitants, it may not be the biggest city in Europe, but it has a lot to offer. In today's short video, I want to explain you why I love this city so much and why you have to come here to visit Porto as well. At the opposite side of the River Duro, you will find Via Nova di Gaia, which is way bigger than Porto itself, and with Porto together, there are living about 1,760,000 people in the whole region of Porto. The name Porto comes, of course, from the word port. And this has a reason, because on the other side of the river Duro, uh, on the Via de Nova di Gaia side, you will find a lot of port wine houses. And in the early days, all the port wine was shipped out to Europe, only using those port wine houses, and as well the ships which are going all the way to Netherlands, France, or even to the UK. We are right now taking a walk through the historical city centre of Porto, which, by the way, is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Porto is as well the place to be when it comes to food, and I will name you only two restaurants that I really enjoyed having a lunch and dinner in, and this would be the Quattro Portage, which is a very small restaurant, has only four tables, and it's uh, located on the hill of Porto, and as well the Taberna de Mercadores, which is a very small tavern near the port, so if you are in Porto and want to try real local food, these are the places to go. By the way, my favorite dish in Porto is the bacalao, which is a salted cod fish served with roasted vegetables and potatoes. Very characteristic for Porto is as well the old tramways that are going all around the city and as well to the seaside. Take number one, it will follow along the river Duro until you hit the ocean. After about 10 to 15 minutes walking from our accommodation, which is quite near to the Ponte de Luis I, we are right now looking at the bridge Ponte da Rabida, which is kind of the gate to the world. So after this bridge, there's the Atlantic Ocean. So that's where we're going today, and I hope you will enjoy this video. So what has Porto to offer to a tourist? Well, it's just a beautiful city to be honest. Great culture, great food, great drinks, and as well a great vibe, what I have experienced so far. But this is only my personal experience, so feel free to leave me down in a comment below what you think about Porto. And well, I've been here the second time and um, I will definitely come back again. It's just such a beautiful place to be, uh, so calm and relaxing and in the winter time as well warm. As you can see, it's the middle of January. Right now I bought along for a long time and now let's enjoy a bit of the sights of Porto and listening to some music. Arizona garden stuck all in the heat. Let me take you dancing. Let me get you on your feet. Arizona garden with my little cactus flower. Let the day slip away in the golden hour. We've got nothing but time and you. And a sweet cold drink in the heat Oh, I'll be beside you Every step of the way Right here beside you Every step of the way Prickly pear and a sandy Holding you heals me But loving you hurts my head Oh, Arizona
flowers on our gardens in the afternoon No matter what happens It's me and you, baby Nothing but time and music And a sweet cool drink on our feet Step of the way Right here Beside you Every step of the way Every step of the way You can either walk the bridge or take the tramway to get across the valley and as well as soon as the construction work on the bottom is finished you can as well drive on to the other side of the river. This behind me is the Ponte Luis I, so one of the most iconic buildings in Porto and it's very cool to get up there, you have a great view all over the city and as well the surrounding Via Nova di Gaia and as you can see here I'm in another very cool spot right at the River Douro and actually there's no tourists around. They all go to the Pont Luis I and then into the city and if you pass the bridge Pont Luis I you're pretty much alone inside the city of Porto. So this is a cool place to hang out as well for sunset and this is very private if you want to have a picnic or just dinner at the river. the city line and the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Maybe check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's break Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that I need, but there is breakneck, paycheck, rat race. What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I'll go back where I came from Everybody knows my name All my friends are still the same I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cool night Yeah, you can keep your nine to five Cause I'm 
just wanted to end this video right now here with the beautiful background of the Porto Vista the first. Thank you for watching. If you have liked this video about Porto, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and let's grow this one into a bigger community altogether. And so, nothing else to say then. Until the next time, just keep on exploring. All my friends are still the same. I guess the slow life hit me just right, like a bonfire on a cold night. Hell, you can keep your nine to five, cause I'm a happy with the simple life.